going to have a look at starting the idea of weaving. Now the method I'm going to teach you is the two by two method. So to start with, we're going to need some weave poles. You can either buy things like this, which are stick in the ground weave poles. Um, they're designed to look like normal competition weave poles, but they've got a spike in the, uh, um, in the bottom, so you can literally stick them into the ground. Another option, if you don't want to pay for those, are things like electric fence posts. Again, they can stick in the ground. If you've got a long haired dog especially, you might want to think about covering these with sellotape or um, cling film or something, so that hairs can't get stuck in these little nodules. Um, you can use bamboo stakes, you can use anything like that um, outside. Inside you have fewer options, so obviously we can't just stick things into the ground. Um, a good one would be something like two litre bottles of um, juice, empty obviously. If you fill those with stones and then put something like your bamboo cane in it, um, that should give you enough stability. Um, bear in mind that at the moment we're not going to be asking them to be pushing past them, they're literally just going through. So they shouldn't need um, to be too stable. Um, but obviously if they're just being knocked over all the time, then you'll spend more time picking those up um, and your dog will stop respecting them. Um, so just have a little think about what you want. Outside is, is easier, but you can do stuff for inside. Just pop this away. So what you want to do is have a setup a little bit like this. Um, I've got uh, two stick in the ground weave poles. They're two feet apart, my feet, two of my feet apart. Um, now, then I've got a target. Now for this, for um, my dog, I'm going to use food, for just a piece of kibble, something they'll like in that target. You can use a ball um, or a toy if they drive towards that. Um, anything that they're going to drive towards is what you want. So, for the purpose of this, I'm going to set up for the other side and get her coming towards you. So, all we're doing to start with is going to put it square on. So this is right in the middle, between the two, um, and she is literally going to be coming uh, straight. So 90 degrees to the way you put um, your weave pole line. So, I'm going to set her up. I'm going to put her quite close, as it's easier to her, for her to go through than to go around. If she wanted to go around it now, she'd have to take a much longer line to the food than she would if she went through. And then I'm going to tell her to weave. Good. Now I'm going to set her up again. I'm going to fill my top up again. Now I might, if she's done that really well, I might take a step back. Again, I want it to be so it's much more economical, much more efficient for her to go through the middle than around the outside. Weave. And I'm going to help her guide her in. Good girl. So you're going to end up doing this lots and lots of times and try to get them to get it right every single time. We Good. If she does go round, the easiest way to do this would be to have an assistant ready to pick this up if she went round the weave poles instead of three so that she's not being reinforced for going round. I understand that's not always possible. In that case you might either want to bring your tub in a bit closer so again even if she's going from quite a long way away to go round and get to it is a much bigger journey. So as your distance this side increases you might want to decrease your distance to the tub the other side. want her to be going through the middle of those weave poles every single time. Now, where we go from here, once your dog can do that without fail every single time and aims for the middle of those weave poles, is you're going to offset the tub a little bit. I don't know if you can see this. It's now a bit more in front of this pole. And we're going to offset the dog a little bit. So she's now kind of coming in at an angle. always want you to remember whatever happens with weaving the dog enters the weave poles with the first pole on their left shoulder so if she was properly weaving she would do that she would never enter on sort of that way so you don't want to in this case you wouldn't have the tub here and her here because that's the wrong shoulder does that make sense it's very very clear the dog's left shoulder has to be the one that's approaching the first pole. So you've got to always
I set it up this way round. So obviously, you can do it this way. But you still do it the opposite way, you want different side of her, but you never have it with the tub this way and her going in here. So, once we've got that sorted, you just want to set this up so it's further and further, so that angle gets a little bit more and more each time. So she actually has to think about it now, so it would be just as easy to go round this side as it would to go in through the middle. We want her to take the middle every time. Good. Um, if they get it wrong, just go back a step. So if she got that wrong, I would bring this in here, make it really easy for her to remind her. Then take smaller steps each time to go a little bit further to where I want her to go. That is your very first step. So I want your dog to be able to see two and know they've got to go in between it every single time. I was a bit too far away. This was a little bit too far. She looked at me um, and I didn't get in there quick enough to ask her to do the correct thing. So I'm going to bring her in. Weave. Weave. Good. So she's a little bit unsure on this one. Now I'm going to set it up a little bit more. Weave. Good. You see how me stepping in there helped her? When I just said, weave, good. She was a little bit more hesitant. When I step in with her, really support it with this arm, weave, she's much happier to go for it. So remember to keep supporting your dog through. If they're good, if they need it. Well done.